warm day in the it's spring. It's nice. Hey, we just heard the uh, helicopter there landing mm-hmm. on the roof. That means our executive vice president of guest acquisitions <laughs> has returned from a late lunch. Ah, uh, of course, in style. Taylor Bassett joins us from the top of the corporate tower with a look at the big names coming up this week on All Indiana. Hey, Taylor. Hey, I get new toys every week. I tell you what, somebody <laughs> is looking down on me up here in the penthouse suite, right? Love it. <laughs> well, tomorrow is almost here, and I'm actually going to be sending Cody out into the community for a couple of stories. The one I am most excited excited about, though, is in conjunction with Zodiac Vintage here in Indianapolis. They have agreed to let Cody run free in their showroom, look out, as they show us how to style vintage pieces for modern wear. And elsewhere, I'm bringing Pretty Passionate Hands, a nonprofit organization that focuses on support, mentorship, and overall guidance for teen mothers and fathers. So a little sassy, a little sweet tomorrow. Ooh, looking that forward to that. I, fun. I can't wait to get all dressed up. I'm going to look so nice. I'm requesting bell bottoms, high waisted with buttons. <laughs> I need to see him in high waisted bell bottoms. That's what I really need. <laughs> That's what I need. Taylor, thank you so much. And of course, we need to check out what's happening outside. Hey, Ashley. All right, so some scattered showers starting to move into this forecast here. Most of it mainly south, a lot of it running into some drier air. We kind of look at the loop. You'll see this looping image showing some pretty good rainfall off to our south. That hasn't made it our way just yet, but that's what's coming our way. Um, as we move forward in this forecast, you will notice uh, mild temperatures that are in the mid-50s for you today, this evening, and falling to the 40s tonight. And we're going to hold fairly steady in the 40s overall. Um, this forecast is very spring-like, right? Today's our first day of spring, our first full day of spring, the day that matters. Um, and we track rain, wind, and mild temperatures. That all makes sense for us. As we look outside, we're mostly cloudy. And when you're cloudy, you lock in the temperature trend. So as we reach the low to mid 50s today, we just kind of hold steady here for the next several hours. Uh, south wind at around 10 to 15 miles per hour. Uh, moving forward into the day tomorrow, I want to kind of let you know how this is going to play out. It will be a day that we see showers and some heavier downpours. They will also have this gusty wind that we have right now, breezy conditions that will stick around. Here's what it looks like for you. So showers tonight breaking apart in the overnight hours. You will start your day on Wednesday for your morning commute with dry conditions. But Wednesday, late morning, early afternoon, we'll start seeing waves of rain arrive. They will bring some heavier downpours our way. Now, Wednesday isn't the wettest day in this forecast. We'll save that for Thursday as we'll get in on heavier downpours. So mid to upper 50s tomorrow. Rain will move in. Showers and thunderstorms expected on Thursday as temperatures peak in the 60s. And then those temperatures fall off as we head into the weekend. Over to you. Beginning March 23rd and running through the 30th, the IMAX Theater in the Indiana State Museum is accepting donations for Indianapolis Animal Care Services in honor of the upcoming movie release of John Wick Chapter 4. Mm, And on March 25th, specifically, the IACS will have adoptable dogs on site at the IMAX Theater for moviegoers to meet and greet and hopefully go on and take a new friend home. With more on this, we are joined by our human friends, Neil and Roxy, (laughs) and our fur friends, too. We got a little bit of everybody here. sitting. We're talking about the dogs. We actually have a lot of human friends here today. Hello, human (laughs) friends. Hello, dog friends. This sounds like it's going to be an amazing event. Can you introduce who we have here today? Yeah, so over here we have Kovu, and in the middle is Bluey, and off to that side, that's Doof. (laughs) Oh, Kovu, Bluey, Doof. So, So all three of these are up for adoption, correct? Yes, they are. When it comes to um, their personalities and adopting, we were all just talking about our own, you know, pets and our own (laughs) family friends. I don't know if you all have adopted. I know I've adopted a couple times. Have you ever adopted? I have, yes. Okay, so it's it's a bit of a cool journey. Explain mm-hmm. to us how this works and how we even get to know what their personalities are like. Yeah, so for adopting of the shelter, we just ask that you submit your pre-adoption application and just do that before you visit. So whether you're coming to the IMAX event on Saturday or you're going to come down to the shelter, um, you just fill that out. You can leave the animal's name blank or you can check online for all of our available animals. You can request them by name in that application or you can just talk to our adoption staff and see who might be a good fit for you. Then they'll get the dog out. You'll meet them and if you fall in love, we just process all of it and if they're spayed and neutered, they head home with you that day. I couldn't love it's, all love be like this. I know, right? You just show up. Yeah. That would be wonderful. <laughs> Take them home and everything's going to go. Yeah. Uh, this is such a unique pairing. I, I think a lot of people would think that. What makes John Wick a good movie to make this happen? John Wick will do anything for his dog. That's true. Hey, yes. I like that. Yep. Just like most animal lovers would do anything for their pets. Yeah. Don't, don't mess with the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's true. Do not mess with the dogs. I love movies. I love dogs. I love the pairing. Let's meet some of the... the 
puppies, and they're not puppies, but everybody's a puppy in my eyes. Right. Some yes. Of the, some of our dog <laughs> friends that are here, why don't we start here and, and move our way? So this is okay. Doof. Tell yep. us a little bit about Doof. So Doof, he's really active, as you can tell. He's all, he can also slow down and really get into the snuggling. Um, he enjoys squeezed cheese like many of the dogs in our care. But as you can see, lots of energy with Doof over there. Oh, yeah. And we've got Bluey, named after my favorite TV show. He literally was just talking. I mean, my kids and I watch it nonstop, and... I mean, it looks like Bluey. Yes, she looks just like Bluey, and she also kind of looks like John Wick's dog in the show because yeah. um, he's got a gray and white pit bull. You know, Bluey fits that same description. She's a little more on the shy side, um, but her favorite quality that we all like to see is she's got one ear that stands up and one ear that lays down. <laughs> Literally, my fa when we first met her, I was cute. like, it's the ears it for me. Flops over like so a toupee. Cute. And like once <laughs> she knows that, you know, she's really comfortable with you, she rolls over for those belly rubs, and she doesn't just roll over. She just kind of flops. Um, <laughs> earlier in the lobby, I kind of heard her butt hit the hit the floor and I was like oh that's gotta hurt <laughs> she's like I am fine yeah she's like this I is great here. and then we have Kovu over here um, I myself I'm a big Lion King fan so I saw the same I was like yes I'm here for it and Kovu he's about a year and a half so he's pretty high energy and he's still a baby so he's got some puppy tendencies um, but yeah if you're looking for some active ones you can definitely check out Doof and Kovu I love the fact that not only can people enjoy themselves at the movies but they can also add to their families we're looking at some really adorable pictures right now <laughs> and is everyone pretty much a pit mix here is everyone yeah that would be our guest just looking at them yeah. um, but I always say that your guess is as good as mine and <laughs> I'm looking at them and be like yeah sure <laughs> yeah sure I love this what's your biggest advice before we let you guys go what's your biggest advice for people who are interested in adopting and what are some of the things that you need I see we have the most requested donations on the screen Yes, so peanut butter and squeezed cheese are our two biggest donations that we need. We go through a lot of that with our dogs. And then laundry detergent and bleach as well to keep the blankets and bowls clean. Um, and then as far as adopting, I say don't go, don't rush into it. We do offer a two-week trial adoption called Cuddle Before You Commit, where if you're kind of on the fence, you can certainly take part in that program and see if the pet's the right fit for you. It's going to be a He's great event. Yeah. See, he has the good stuff in his That's head. right. Yeah, Neil came, knows. Yeah. Neil came prepared. <laughs> Thank you both so much. Oh, this is going to be such a really cool event. We have all the information you need to know, including uh, movie times and all of that for the IMAX show times on allindiana.tv. Thanks again. Thank you. Cody, why can't you be this cute? I know. Yeah. We'll be back.